everyone uh, the boss man is back and I want to talk to you guys about the 30th anniversary of Zelda because four days after this video is posted uh, basically this Sunday upcoming Sunday uh, or if you're watching this later it's already passed uh, Zelda's 30th anniversary is gonna arrive and this is especially notable for me because I turned 30 in July which means I'm almost as old as the Legend of Zelda series uh, so I turn 30 this year, Zelda turns 30 this year, so it's a bit of a special occasion, but I'm here to kind of tell you why I think um, Nintendo is kind of going wrong here. Uh, we're celebrating Zelda's anniversary too often. Uh, it actually doesn't feel as special to me as I thought it would. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. I don't want to uh, discredit the, the franchise the series. It's been 30 years. I'm incredibly grateful for everything Zelda has done for me, both uh, what I get to do here at Zelda Informer, what I get to do in these Bossman videos, uh, all the news and editorials, and everything I get to write, it's all thanks to Zelda and, you know, praise Miyamoto and A.G. Aonoma for uh, all they have done to help me realize some of my dreams. However, I'm a little concerned with how they've been handling the anniversaries. Now, the last anniversary we celebrated was 25. Uh, that was five years ago. So just five years ago, back in 2011, Nintendo celebrated the 25th anniversary. We got, you know, two games released in Ocarina of Time 3D and Skyward Sword. And then we also got the Symphony Tour. And that was kind of the summation of what they did for the 25th anniversary in general in terms of the big stuff. And they might be doing more this year. We still have the Symphony. We still uh, have Hyrule Warriors. Legends coming out, Twilight Princess HD, and Zelda U supposedly, hopefully, thank you Nintendo, do not take that game away from us this year. Uh, so technically we have like three Zelda related releases with two, uh, with a remake and a full uh, console game. And then, uh, you know, a, a kind of a, a repeat of a side game we got a couple years ago. But my concern in all of this is that we've had two straight console releases in a row where we're celebrating... Um, the series. It's really weird to me that we're celebrating the 25th anniversary and the 30th anniversary. I, I don't really get what they're doing here. Now, there, there's multiple ways that I feel you can go along uh, with celebrating anniversaries of a series. I don't think it's appropriate to do it every single year because, frankly, we don't get Zelda games every single year. So, uh, it doesn't really make sense to me to necessarily celebrate every year. However, I don't like what they're doing with the 25th and the 30th. Now, uh, to me, there there's certain ways you can celebrate a series. You can go every 10 years. Uh, so every decade, you celebrate another 10 years to the series. That's really common. A lot of people do that. Um, you know, outside of the fact that here in the United States, you know, we kind of make the 18th birthday and the 21st birthday a big deal. Once you're past that, the big deals become your 30th, your 40th, your 50th, your 60th, etc. So... Um, in terms of birthdays, uh, we put a lot of emphasis on decades, so it would make a lot of sense if the series was to celebrate decades, and that's kind of what a 30th anniversary would be. You'd celebrate the 10th anniversary, the 20th, and the 30th. Um, however, Nintendo chose to celebrate the 25th anniversary, which that's the quarter century anniversary. That, to me, suggests if you're not really celebrating the series' birthday until the 25th anniversary, then you really probably should celebrate it again until the 50th anniversary. Now, that um, obviously is a pain on what to me. I'd be 50. Um, I'd probably make it to hopefully to the 75th anniversary. And I would love to say I'd be alive for the 100th. But, um, you know, that's me being 100 years old. And, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows if I can make it to the 75th? I hope I can. Um, so to me, that's kind of how uh, I thought Nintendo was going to be handling it since we celebrated the 25th. But then five years later, we have the 30th. And I don't think we're going to be celebrating the 35th. I'm pretty confident that Nintendo's not going to be like, hey, look, we have another console game coming out five years from now, and let's do a big celebration again for the 35th anniversary, because what what significance does the 35th anniversary have outside of the fact that, yeah, it's 35 years, but it's not really a notable day, if that makes sense. Um, but then again, we don't know, because when Nintendo the 25th anniversary, I definitely did not see a 30th anniversary celebration coming, even after they already did it for Mario last year. Uh, so part of my problem with this is that we are celebrating anniversaries too close together right now. It's been five years. Uh, that's, that's just too, too close. 
Now, I'm not going to complain about too much Zelda. We've had a bunch of remakes this generation. Uh, we've had Link Between Worlds and Triforce Heroes, whether you love it or not, uh, hate it, whatever. I really enjoyed Triforce Heroes, so I still count it. And Nintendo certainly counts it, so that's we've gotten two brand new Zelda games this generation. We're about to get a third. Uh, in that time frame, we've had one, two, three. We're going to get four remakes in that same time frame that we're getting three brand new games. Uh, so it's a lot of... Uh, a lot of me is really excited for what's happening with Zelda. Uh, we're about to get some merchandise. There's playing cards. Uh, we have the continuing of the Symphony of the Goddesses with even more locations. Um, there's just a lot of stuff to really enjoy. One second. But as I stand before you today, I keep wondering, what is the best way to celebrate Zelda's anniversary? In fact, how often should we celebrate it? Should it be every five years when uh, ever since really since Twilight Princess, our last two Zelda releases, or the last Zelda release and the upcoming one, have five years between them as is. That would mean we're celebrating almost every time a home console game comes out. Now, I understand that you, like me, would like home console games to probably come out more often. Every three years, I'd say, would be the ideal mark, and hopefully Nintendo uh, recognizes that. Um, I know A.G. Aonomu has uh, stated that he wants them to come out every three years, but we haven't had that reality occur. So, my question to you is, how often do you really want these games uh, to be celebrated? Uh, do you want it to be every year? Do you want it to be every five, every 10, every 25? Uh, you tell me uh, how often you think it should be, because personally, I think uh, after just celebrating the 25th, and now we're celebrating the 30th, I think they're happening too frequently, personally. Um, I honestly, since, you know, we don't live forever, uh, I would hate to say that uh, by the time I turn 100, we've only celebrated four times or five since we you include the 30th. Um, personally, I like the every 10 year mark. So after this 30th anniversary, I don't want to really, really want to see Nintendo do this big shindig where we celebrate the series um, until the 40th and then do it again on the 50th and the 60th. Um, assuming that Zelda's even around at that time, which... Um, I'm sure I'm sure Nintendo is going to be around in some way, so I'm sure Zelda will be around too. Uh, so that's my take. Uh, thank you for joining me here on the Boss Man, and I will catch you guys later. Oh, real talk. So uh, this week has been kind of a crazy, crazy month. Um, for those who don't know, Zelda Informer has a new owner in uh, Massey's. I can't even pronounce his last name, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, he's the owner, webmaster, founder of Zelda Dungeon. Uh, dot net. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of Zelda Dungeon, they're kind of the leading uh, Zelda fan site for walkthroughs in particular. Plus, uh, they have um, a pretty decent forum community. And, you know, I, I, I would say probably, arguably, the second best Zelda wiki uh, in the world right now. Uh, one that we're happily supporting. So, they, uh, you know, so, so we have this new owner. So, I had a new contract that started on February 1st. And uh, since then, I've been incredibly busy. Um, ironically enough, the new contract was actually uh, put in place to kind of take something off my plate because we promoted um, a, a staff member internally to a management position. So I was supposed to be doing a little bit less at the site so I could do things like The Boss Man and more editorial series. And to be fair, I have written two editorials this month. Um, but that hasn't exactly been uh, what's occurred. Um, I'm sure if you've been to ZeldaFormer.com, um, you've seen me posting a ton of news. Um, unfortunately, we've had a lot of news people on hiatus this week, so I've had to be kind of that filling guy. <laughs> um, but I am proud to say that I do have some new lighting. Um, so the fact that hopefully um, this green screen behind me uh, turned out beautifully in the video um, because of the new lighting, I'm still kind of working on it. I have uh, one more light to set up, so next week it might even get better. I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, obviously, the green screen is back. It's been a while since we've used one. Um, I'm not, you know, necessarily in, in full Zelda attire. I got to kind of sort through my Zelda attire because the problem with a green screen is that you can't really wear green, and that doesn't work. <laughs> um, so I'm actually contemplating um, getting a blue screen so I can wear more green. But see, I have blue eyes, so I'm kind of in a conundrum here. Last time I used a blue screen, um, it looked like part of my eyes were hollowed out. Um, I don't want that to happen again. Uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on. Um, obviously, I have uh, three beautiful children, um, including a four-month-old, so that's put a lot of pressure on me. Um, but I'm looking to get Boss Man going here every single week. So if you guys have any feedback, any suggestions, ways I can improve, um, I am not using my uh, external microphone this week. 
uh, specifically just because I didn't really want to move my laptop. I just got some new uh, 4K monitors for it, and in setting it all up, my laptop's in a position now where it would take me probably a good 20 minutes to get it set back up to do the editing for this. Um, so I'm just kind of using the audio on my camera. So I apologize if the audio quality is not what you're accustomed to, um, but that's going to be getting better as well. However, um, what I can tell you is because of my 4K monitors after this week, uh, next week I'm hoping to make this a 4K quality video. Um, let me know if you're even interested in me doing that uh, because right now I record in 1080p 60fps, uh, except these kind of videos don't really need 60fps. So I was thinking that if I could just up, up it to 4K at 30fps, um, that would be a pretty acceptable quality for you guys. Um, and it would kind of future-proof the series, so if people want to watch it on their 4K TVs, or 4K monitors, even on your phones, a lot of phones today have 4K screens. Um, I, I figured that that would uh, be beneficial to you guys. So let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any ideas for future episodes, you can leave them below in the comments. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, at Nate Jantz. You can follow Zelda Informer on Twitter, at Zelda Informer. Uh, that's all I really got for you guys today. Thank you, and... Uh, woo. Maybe you shouldn't eat pizza for breakfast. <laughs> All right, I will catch you guys later. Uh, Zelda's 30th, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week.